The man himself used a gun to finish off his own son. Such a cruel thing is afraid that no one can do it. Is this a twisted human nature or a moral failure? Not long ago, the town where David lived was in a fog. At that time, he did not take this matter to heart. Instead, he went out shopping with his neighbor, Blackie, as usual. Just as he stepped through the door of the supermarket, there was an alarm outside. Someone shouted that there were monsters in the mist. The unbelievers broke into the mist. Immediately after that, there were screams from outside. Seeing this scene, everyone in the supermarket no longer dared to run around. They gathered in the lobby of the supermarket to discuss what to do. Hope that the government can send people to rescue. During the time David thought to find a blanket for his son. When David came to the warehouse, he found a monster knocking on the door. Then someone came to fix the generator. But as soon as they opened the roll-up door, they were dumbfounded. Several tentacles appeared and quickly pulled one of them away. After this incident, everyone was convinced that there was a monster in the mist. The mists are holding the monster. Everyone moved all the useful things to block the door. But at this moment, there were different voices in the crowd. Blackie and some of the brave men decided to go out and explore. What awaits them is a bloodbath. David tied a rope to one of them. And all that came back was half a body. At night, one strange bug after another appeared. The bugs gathered together. And they rained down on the doors of the supermarket. The fragile glass didn't last long. The bugs rushed inside and started attacking everyone. After some chaos, the bugs were driven away. But many people were injured. David and his companions decided to go to the nearby pharmacy to find medicine. At this moment, the drugstore is as silent as death. What's weird is that the ceiling is covered with cobwebs. And some human bodies were wrapped inside. They tried to save them. But they were attacked by the spiders. The group fights and retreats. Although some people died in accidents. Most of them made it back to the supermarket. More and more people are dying from the mist. In the crowd, a woman named Anna started to go crazy. She screamed that it was all God's will. Everyone needs to be judged by God. Afterwards, David finds a soldier in the crowd and asks the soldier what happened. It turns out that the military is conducting some kind of mysterious operation. This operation inadvertently attracted a lot of monsters and fog. Anna learns of this and begins to promote a falsehood. She screams at everyone to throw the soldiers out of the supermarket. As things start to get out of control, David and the few people left with their heads on straight decided to talk about escaping. But it seems that their plan was quickly realized by Anna. One of David's companions quickly shot and killed her. After escaping from the supermarket, David and the others are surrounded by monsters. Faced with the car running out of fuel, David had no choice but to take everyone with him to kill himself. In doing so, he killed his own son. Turning his head to see David found the army appeared. At this moment his heart has completely broken.